Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Tenda BE5100 Dual Band Wi-Fi 7 router. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So we have some features listed on the back. This is dual band. It has 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz. Supports multi-link operation. Supports MUMIMO, OFDMA, WPA3, BSS coloring, has five antennas, has NFC, has a Wi-Fi mesh capability, if you have multiples of these, and this is what it comes with. So let's get this open. Here we have the router, power cable, ethernet cable, this little NFC beacon. Here's a manual, let's take a quick look at it. Now you want to read through this on your own. So you want to connect this up to your modem, plug it into power, it has 2.5 gigabit ethernet. You want to connect the router to the internet. You can also add this to an existing network. This talks about connecting with NFC. This talks about the indicator lights. This talks about the different ports. And we have an FAQ. So let's look at this. So this is made of plastic. On the bottom we have four ports. We have mesh reset button and we have power in. And the power adapter is 12 volts at 1.5 amps. So let's connect this up. Now I already have a network cable here. I'll plug that in to port one. And I'll plug this into power. Now it has a Wi-Fi SSID on the back here under this tape. So I'll let that get booted up. So I'm seeing it on my iPad. I'll connect up to the Wi-Fi access point. So I'll go into the app store on my device. I'm using an iPad here, but you could use this with an iPhone or Android. And I'll search for Tenda. So I want to find Tenda Wi-Fi. I'll hit get on that. So that's installed, I'll hit open. If it wants to send notifications, I'll hit allow. If it wants to use location, so I'll say allow while using the app. We have an agreement on the bottom, I'll hit okay. It says log in with account, so I'll do that. Now I'm going to log in on the bottom with one of these. It has Google, Facebook, and Apple. You do want to make sure you hit that agreement one. Okay, so I've created an account. I'll hit add device. I'll hit router mesh. So it says identify the router and go into your settings on your device and choose that. So I'll do that. It says welcome to the Tenda router. I'll hit start now. So it has Wi-Fi settings here. So I'll enter that in. Okay, so I connected to the Wi-Fi access point and it had me set up credentials. So it wants to find devices on the network. I'll say allow. It found the router. I'll hit control now. It wants the management credentials. Okay, it says device upgrade, new device version. I'll hit upgrade. I'll hit one click upgrade, upgrade now, and I'll let this upgrade. So I'll come back when this is finished. Okay, the update has completed. So I'll hit back up here at the top and I'll just share my screen on here so we can look at it. Okay, so we're back at the home screen. I'll bind this router. It's asking the location. So I'll do custom, basement. I'll hit save, I'll hit done. So it says internet connection normal. So I've just added this to my existing network. So I can click on network topology and I can see the two parts. I can tap on the controller and I can see the controller and it shows the device is connected to it. So I'll go back. In the middle it has the Wi-Fi settings. So it has your network and your credentials. Let's do a quick speed test on here. So what I have here is a speed test running on a server on my network. So the router is connected to my network using a 2.5 gigabit ethernet connection. I'll hit start here. So we got 1048 megabits per second down and 1251 up. So we're a little bit over a gigabit on our down and our up. Now I was using the five gigahertz band. Let's try it with the 2.4 gigahertz band. So I switched the network, I'll restart it and I'll hit start. So on the 2.4 gigahertz, we got 133 megabit per second down and 121 up. So the 2.4 is going to have a better range and the five is going to have a faster speed. Now you can further customize this if we go to internet settings. If we go to DHCP, we can hit current. And here it would allow us to clone our MAC address. So if you have an internet provider that looks at the MAC address of your equipment, you can clone the current MAC address so you can replace your existing router with this one. It also has PPPoE, so you can enter that in here if your ISP uses PPP, and you can set a static IP. So you can have this be your sole router, or you can connect it to your existing network. Now if we look at device management here, we have iPad, I'll tap on it. We can hit smart speed limit and we can enter a max upload and download rate. 
So if you want to limit the internet access on the device, you can do that here. Now if we hit all, it will list offline and online devices. So if you want to manage a device that's not currently online, you can go to offline devices and do that there. Now this has common functions. We can also hit more functions, and we have a whole bunch of things here. We have guest Wi-Fi, black whitelist, smart power saving, management password, reboot schedule, system time, device upgrade, account authorization, and then we have advanced functions below like LAN settings and such. So we can go to our LAN settings and we can change our DHCP address range. So it's currently between 100 and 254. We can change that and make that a larger or smaller pool. Now this is actually a double NAT here because the router is providing NAT. If we go to working mode, we can change that here. So it has other options here. We can change this to wired extension AP and that will put that directly on our network as opposed to using double NAT. So for some things, double NAT might work fine. If not, you can change that here. So you can also go into the Wi-Fi settings and set up your own Wi-Fi networks on the two and five gigahertz band. So that's the Tenda BE5100 dual band Wi-Fi 7 router. So if you're looking to extend your network and want a simple to use router, I think this could be a great option. It was very easy to set up. You plug it into your network or internet and you plug in power and you download the app and connect to it and you can manage it from there. It has all the features you would expect. I know some people have issues with their internet and they might think it's their internet provider and it potentially could be, but sometimes it's just the equipment that comes with your internet provider is not the greatest. So adding in your own router or Wi-Fi access point can give you much better coverage. And if you have multiples of these, you can set it up in a mesh mode to extend your network even further. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. But thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.